Hey y'all, welcome back to chat with Coach Amy. This is kind of a really different one. If you're watching this on YouTube, you see this is my bedroom and um, this is a very pretty part of my room and I love it. And I'm home by myself with our two dogs. <laughs> and um, I didn't have anything planned for tomorrow. So today is Sunday, December 4th. This is coming out early Monday morning or whenever it is that y'all do listen to this. Um, but I just, I don't have a guest. Uh, I don't have a guest scheduled. It just didn't work out this week. A lot of people are super busy and don't have time to do interviews. And so uh, I actually realized yesterday evening that I didn't have a podcast scheduled. And so my husband and oldest son are hunting. My three girls and my son are at a Christmas program here local in town. And I just told them that I need a little mama time by myself. And so I've done some work that I really needed to get done. And then I was like, you know what, Amy, just just go sit in your room for a little change of scenery and record a podcast. So um, I need to move this over, don't I? Y'all can experience me not keeping up with my little Christmas countdown over here. Um, but I just wanted to come to you and uh, just give you a word of motivation, encouragement, inspiration. I don't know what all is going to come out of my mouth. I have a few notes here, but not a ton. Um, I do want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Um, we have, I think, 25 or so days left in our 100 Strong Challenge. And guys, let me just tell y'all, last year when I started this 100-day thing, um, I just, I really needed something to keep me straight, to keep me motivated, to keep me um, with my head screwed on straight, if you will. And it really showed me how strong I can be. And then this year I came up with 100 strong. And guys, it just really, it helped me see what I could accomplish if I put my mind to it. Um, I shared a reel yesterday and it was showing my 100 strong shirt and then a sticky note of my loss of pounds. And then, but I had gain of muscle. And it just blew my mind. I can't remember the numbers now. I don't, numbers aren't my jam. <laughs> I don't remember numbers well. Uh, as you see, I could care less about the countdown over here. My boys were supposed to do that, but they forgot yesterday and today. Anyhow, y'all, it has just been incredible. So let's we'll start from the top of what has, has really helped me the most. Let me get a little sip of coffee. So good. Okay, so I believe what helped me the most, and I shared this in my Sunday school class this morning, reading my Bible every day. What does that look like for Coach Amy? So one of my friends, she was like, it really, it really, you know, made me kind of go, huh, when you said that you were going to read your Bible every day. She said, I really thought that you were somebody that did that every day anyway. And I'm like, no, no, I don't. So I have um, a bit of a, a history of an aversion to being able to sit down and read my Bible. Does that mean I don't love the Lord? Absolutely not. I love the Lord. Oh, he's so good to me, y'all. He's so good to me. And I owe him everything. And I, and I strive to live a life pleasing to him. But I had a mental, emotional block where when I would think about sitting down and doing a quiet time or a Bible study or just reading a verse or you know, any, anything like that. I just, I literally, I could not do it. There was a wall. And so the days, and that's been for years, at least eight or nine years, maybe more. And, you know, I would go to church and, and the way on the way home in, in my heart, I'm like, this is it. This is the week. This is the week that you're going to, you're going to do your Bible study every day. I mean, you're going to do this. You can do it. You know, Really pumping myself up to fall flat on my face by Tuesday. Um, just because of that aversion that I had. And there's probably a lot to it. Anybody that might be a therapist or anything out there, you might be like, well, X, Y, Z could be happening, you know? <laughs> but um, I, just, I just really wanted to preface this 100 challenge and set myself up for success. And so I believe it started on September 23rd, 100 strong. So the week before that, <clears throat> I began just praying and I just asked God to tear down the walls and help me just um, be able to go to a place of, of a, a clear mind and an open heart. And I prayed that every day, just really quickly, not even 
you know, in this perfect prayer closet that some people might have, which is wonderful. But I just prayed for that. And then the Sunday um, before all of this, I really, during uh, worship, I prayed that over and over during the music part of our worship service. And it really helped me. And so um, every day I have at least read one verse of scripture. Some days I'm reading several devotions with scripture, with tons of scripture, or I'm reading an entire chapter of the Bible or something. It doesn't always look the same. And I like that. I like a lot of variety. Um, and so that's just kind of the way that I am. And it has just meant all the world to me. And something that we were talking about in Sunday school was living, um, just living a life where you are aware of the Lord and having a pure heart and different things like that. And somebody else in class may not even have heard those things that I heard, but I saw that we needed a life of intention, a life of diligence, and a life of a pure heart. It, it, that, that, those three things were very, very, um, this brought out, there was a lot brought out about that to me. And also something that I read yes this morning was about giving people the benefit of the doubt. And so, you know, it talked about whenever someone cuts you off in traffic, give them the benefit of the doubt. They may be rushing to an emergency. Um, somebody was rude to you at a store. Should a customer service person be rude to you? No, but maybe they're dealing with a, a difficult situation at home. Maybe that's your opportunity to love on them. Now, somebody cuts you off in traffic. You know, the, the thing that you can do is not react. Uh, somebody at a store, just tell them, you know, I hope you have a great day. Merry Christmas. Or if you feel led by the spirit to love on them in a different way, of course, fine. Um, <clears throat> my kids, this is something that I really struggle with, but I'm trying really hard. <laughs> you know, when they start having a bad attitude, if I have not filled myself up with the Lord and I'm not ready and prepared, when they bump me, a bunch of ugly is going to come out. So if I'm full of the Lord and, and goodness and faithfulness and all the fruits of the spirit, when they bump me with their nasty attitude, I can love on them. That, that goodness is going to slosh out, if you will. If, I was, if you imagine me being a cup, you know, and so there's so many things that have gone through in my mind. What if I had not started this journey of the last 70 something days now where I have um, spent some time in the word of God and, you know, even though it might've just been a small verse, it, it just really administered to me and it set me up for success with people in my life. I have a lot of clients and I'm gonna talk about um, group and one-on-one -on -one coaching opportunities later, but guys, I have a lot of clients that are dealing with some really, really, really heavy, hard, difficult things right now. And I am very much somebody that it, it matters to me. When people that I know love, spend time with are hurting, it hurts me. But I have been able to immediately, y'all, this is huge for me because I have a lot of clients, <laughs> but I have been able to immediately take their problem, their issue, their concern to the Lord and pray about it. And what's amazing to me is that I have, when I think of them again, and the Lord has given me that, the thought of them again, I pray about them, about it again. And I even had one client, had, she had a headache. She deals with headaches a lot. And we're, we're, we're getting us to a stage where they're less and less. She had a really bad one. And I did, I said, I'm praying for you. And I meant it. If I say, I'm going to pray for you, I pray for you. And I prayed, I was just like, Lord, and just in my spirit, I didn't call her and pray over her or anything. She lives very far from me, <laughs> but I just prayed and asked God to heal her and help her feel better. And Jesus say, amen. Like it was that fast and not minutes later, she texts me. She goes, I'm feeling so much better. I'm going to get you to pray for me every time I have a headache. I was like, I would love to. It's just simple things like that. And I'm nobody special. Oh, my stars. I'm not, but I'm accessing the Lord. And that is just a huge thing. And that's free. That is free. We must pray for that. It's free. And so I'm just really grateful. I, I don't know in the future if I'm going to maintain this. I pray that I do. I don't know. But this is new for me. This is 70 something days in, guys. And I'm like, my gracious, what blessings have I missed in the past? that I could be rejoicing over. And so something that we talked about um, in Sunday school were struggles. We are dealing with the world and different things like that. And I told him a joke between my husband and my best friend is that I live in a bubble and I do. I, I go, when I go out, I'm going to church. I go to CrossFit. I go to the grocery store. Like that's the only places I go. <laughs> I don't have to deal with the public much. I do have followers and, and, and people that comment on my public things sometimes that they're not so nice, but I can delete those comments. I can choose to ignore them and go on about my life. My clients, I, I'm not going to say that I 
I cho get to choose them, but I kind of do. People people that are drawn to me are, are, are like-minded people. Are we all the same? Are all of my followers and clients Christians? No, but it's still a very, you know, friendly, hospitable environment. And I don't have much um, pushback and things like that. And so, you know, the things that people deal with, maybe that work in a hospital or a teacher, or whatever else other people do, they have to deal with a lot of other things that I don't have to deal with. But things that I do struggle with are my internal, my mind and my heart and reminding myself that I am worthy, that I am good enough, that I deserve, um, you know, to be healthy. And, and it's good for me to put forth the effort to live this life out. and that I am equipped by the Lord to um, coach clients and post inspiring things and um, just different things like that. And, and um, unbelief has always been um, something that I've struggled with. And I pray, Lord, please help my unbelief because sometimes I'm just like, I just don't know that God can do that, you know? And he has proven in the last several years of our lives, he's proven to me over and over just in our little family how he does provide and how he is watching and he is ready and he is going to provide whatever it is. And it may not be exactly how I thought it was going to work out, but it's so good. It's just so good. He knows best. And I have to trust that. So someone that has dealt with anxiety and depression, like I have, um, that's enough for me. <laughs> that's a struggle enough. I don't need all the extras. I'm thankful for my life so much. But he just reminds me over and over uh, on these last 70 something days of reading the Bible that he is there for me and he is for me. And whenever I am thinking these not so great thoughts of maybe um, anxious thoughts or getting overwhelmed, he just reminds me peace. And that's what um, the Advent um, devotion that I read today was peace that he, he, he brings peace to my home and to my heart. And it just, it just washed all over me his love. And it was so amazing. So I pray that this little section of the podcast, and I should have watched my time, but um, I pray that this has been helpful for you. I want to share something else that has really been kind of making me chuckle. Um, when the, the girl uh, asked about that, or she made the, the comment rather that she was surprised that I didn't already read my Bible every day. You know, my life is very public um, for people that follow me. Um, there are people that live right down the road from me, have no idea what I do. Um, Camp came home from school one day and he was all in a bad mood. And I was like, what? And he said, well, you know, they didn't believe me that you have a YouTube channel, the kids at school. And I'm like, well, you know, if their mama didn't know what Trim Healthy Mama is, they're not going to know. They're not going to care, <laughs> you know, and that's okay. You know, I almost have 10,000 followers on Facebook. It's crazy, crazy. And, you know, people could unfollow me tomorrow and I might be down to five. I don't know. But the, I know that the Lord has given me these opportunities and I am super, super grateful. It's not lost on me at all. But something that I wanted to talk about is the highlight reel. Let me get a little more coffee. This is hard to do with um, just talking myself. I fixed a cup of coffee like a ding dong thinking I was going to get to drink it while I'm the only one talking. <laughs> but anyway, the highlight reel. So when we're on Facebook and Instagram, no matter if it's a celebrity, if it's someone that inspires you that you follow, it's your friend from high school, your aunt, your mom, your grandmother, whatever, we're typically going to be posting things that are good and positive, right? I mean, sometimes we'll post my puppy passed away or my aunt's in the hospital. Y'all could be, please be praying. That's common around here for us. You know, um, I've, I've posted many things where it has been I have a confession, <laughs> you know, I really wanted to do this off plan thing, but I knew better and I fought really, really hard, you know, or, you know, I'm not perfect. I've done this or, you know, I, FOMO, I did a great, there was a great post about Trim Healthy Mama FOMO, fear of missing out, because there's a lot of things that a lot of Trim Healthy Mama people do and it stresses some people out because they're not up for that. Like, keeper or sourdough bread or different things like that. And, you know, it's just, it's just perspective. We really, really, really have to remember perspective. So with my job, I think it's important for me to be vulnerable and real all the time. And, you know, it is real that my precious daughter had her birthday yesterday. It is real that I went to Chick-fil-A and I got a cool wrap and it was an S 
and it was super fun. And, you know, it's real that I went to the grocery store and bought $300 worth of groceries that my family of seven is only going to take four days to eat. That's real. Um, you know, but somebody could hear that $300, few days of groceries and say, well, my family of nine only spends $100 a week. Okay. That's, that's okay. Um, we're just not in the same situation. And that's the way we should look at all of it. Um, for me, I just want to say, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I just want to say, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, good and good for you for, for feeding your family for a hundred dollars a week. Like that's huge. <laughs> um, teach me your ways. <laughs> um, but let's not get too caught up in the highlight reel of social media. Um, we can't get caught in that. Um, there are some people that I do not follow intentionally. Maybe there's some people you don't need to follow. THM or not. I mean, this is just life in general. But I think another thing is we need to learn to clap for people. We need to learn to clap for them and genuinely be happy for them. And the things that hurt our hearts, we need to do a little heart check and see why. Why does that bother us so much? Is it really their joy and their their good, bright, shining moment that bothers you. Maybe it's something else. And maybe that's something we need to work through. But also going back to that devotion from this morning, give people the benefit of the doubt. Y'all don't know. Y'all see my family of seven. My daughters are beautiful. My sons are cute as pie. My husband is handsome. And I have, I'm very fit. And I, I, I have, you know, worked really hard to look the way that I do. I get my hair colored. I, I buy cute glasses. I got my nails did for the first time in a year. I do a lot of things like that. I have jewelry that I wear, yes. But you don't know where we started. You don't know that Les and I, our first home was a, a very small trailer in a trailer park now that I would not want my daughters to live in. It was fine then, but you know, you don't know that I worked all these jobs and I had to, we had to do all these things and we lost a lot of money on sales of homes because we didn't know what we were doing. We bought, we built some, spec houses and we made we didn't know kind of like the tax issue that there would be and so we were in a little bit of a financial situation you know and and you know we just we began to pay attention to financial things and we began to make better decisions and we asked for help and guidance and we have learned a lot and we've been married uh 21 years we, we built things we Wes does uh, this bedroom he did almost all with his bare hands uh, we did pay somebody to paint because he can't stand to paint. So we did that, but we were thankful to hire that guy. Such a sweet guy from family in our lives. And, you know, I got a new Jeep. Somebody said business must be good. It is good. And I'm so grateful, but we didn't buy a brand new one, you know, different things like that. And then you look at, you know, Amy always posts pictures of her food on a nice plate. Well, you know why? I need it to be on that small salad plate or Amy's going to overeat. <laughs> if I use the throwaway plates that my kids use, they're really big. Um, you know, I could buy smaller paper plates. Sure, I could. But I do. It does bring me joy as well. It brings me joy to have that salad plate. I think they're pretty. Different things like that. And guys, they're Pioneer Woman from Walmart. It's not like it's fine China from the department store. Anyway, perspective. Learn to clap for others. That is the whole point of this. I hope this is touching your heart somewhere. I'm probably making y'all laugh. But we are going to definitely be giving people the benefit of the doubt. And the devotion this morning, it was like, and especially during the holidays, right? We are more generous during the holidays with our time, with our patience, with our money. And the devotion encouraged us as I was reading it. It just encouraged me to be like that all the time. And I just think that's really important. I do. I really do. So moving forward, guys, I just want to touch a little bit on what 2023 will look like for Southern and Healthy. Southern and Healthy is the name of my business. And I am a certified Trim Healthy Mama coach and I'm a certified nutrition coach. I'm praying about maybe getting some other certifications, but it's just not setting well in my soul right now. Uh, and so I'm going to keep praying about that and see. I've got a few weeks to make that decision. But Something that came out of a very random live that I did a few weeks ago was that I keep promises to myself. I think what I actually said was, I don't break promises to myself. And I've shortened that a little bit for 2023. Keep the promises. If I make a promise to myself, I'm going to keep it. 
And I didn't realize that's something that I did. Um, it's just the way that I live my life. Have I always been this way? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But I think the Bible verse thing that I talked to y'all about, I think that's really what hit it for me when I made that promise and I kept it. In addition to read my Bible every day for the last 70 something days for my 100 strong challenge, I've had a, ga a gallon of water a day. Now, something that um, I started out was literally a gallon of pure water. And now I'm telling you, it may be also it's water with maybe some electrolytes or with flavor, or I'll have a GGMS, which is a good girl moonshine, that's a THM, excuse me, a THM drink or a singing canary. And so it's not all pure water anymore, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't have to be perfect and it'd be a gallon of water. It's still a gallon of fluids. I don't count my coffee towards that because I don't think that's the same thing personally, but that's what I've been doing. Fuel pull snack. I was I was promised myself I'd have a fuel pull snack every afternoon. Well, sometimes that's just not going to work for what the people in my life have going on. Specifically yesterday, it just did not work out. And so yesterday I did have a fuel pull, but it was early in the morning. Okay. And then I went throughout my day alternating S and E until of course bedtime. And so things do change. It's not always going to be perfect. Did I check the box for good enough for myself? Yes. Yes, I did. 100% of own planned food. That's the last thing I had to focus on for. I did that with my balloons group. And <clears throat> I really wanted a higher level of accountability for my 100 Strong. I feel like I'm there. Um, in January, I'll be celebrating my six-year anniversary, And I just really wanted that higher level of accountability and challenge in my life. And I felt like I'm ready for it. I can do hard things, right? <laughs> and so 100% of own planned food. Well, you probably heard me say this here, there, and yonder that Fritos and s'mores are like one of my hardest things to overcome. And it's so weird. And literally moments before I walked in here, I walked past a soggy bowl of chili that had Fritos on top of it. And I could smell the salty corn smell from her Frito. And it was soggy. And I'm like, what? <laughs> of course, that wasn't tempting. But I mean, I do. I have a house full of all kinds of off plan things right now. And I'm just so grateful that they don't tempt me. Um, if I was having a really difficult day and if I wasn't doing this 100 strong, um, it may be more, more difficult for me to stay strong, but I keep promises to myself. And I, I say that out loud sometimes. Um, I love crispy, fried, crispy chicken tenders. I think they are delicious. They are not beneficial for me. They are not on plan with THM. I'm probably not going to eat them very often. I'm certainly not going to have them during my 100 strong challenge. Will I go my entire life without having one? Probably not. I probably will have one from here and from time to time. But right now I'm not because I made a promise to have 100% on plan food. Now, last year during my hundreds, uh, my 100 days, I did not let myself have any personal choice items. I did not do that this time because I knew that I was, I had such a, a higher level of other things that I was doing. I didn't need a um, I needed to set myself up for success. So I needed to have that, that contingency type, that little, that little here, you can have, you can have a little personal choice. I love ready whip, a little squirt, we call it a little squirt of joy, me and some of my friends, Meredith's out there, I'm sure listening. And we just love a little squirt of joy every now and then. I don't have it every day, personal choice items really are not the most stellar of ingredients, but they do work with your healthy mama. And, you know, so I do have that low carb tortillas. I do love pesto pizza from Trim Healthy Future, and it's on a low-carb tortilla. So I knew that those two things were going to be something that I have a really difficult time because of the business of my life, because of the other things that I was focusing on. I felt like it would be okay for me to have this, and so I did choose that, but there have been many times in the past 70-something days where I could have, in the past, had off-plan food because I am at goal weight. I am seeing great results with Trim Healthy Mama. And so I have given myself a little bit more of a, a, a longer leash, if you will, to have some off plan things from time to time. But I have noticed that my body will release some weight when I do stay strict, if you will, with Trim Healthy Mama. And so I just encourage you, you're not gonna be right where I am in your journey and that's okay. You're not gonna be where your neighbor Maybe uh, if your neighbor's doing THM, I know that was probably not a good example, but your friend, your THM friend, y'all aren't the same person. You're not. 
Wes, y'all know, he tried, he started, he'll be on plan. That was about April. Well, the summer hit and different things happened. He's not really 100% on plan. I don't even know. I'd have to ask him later what percentage. But one of my friends um, this morning said he's school. She goes, Wes has lost weight. I was like, yeah, he needs some smaller shirts. <laughs> but, um, you know, he's still seeing success. Man, bless him. They really usually react really well to THM. And it's a little annoying. But us girls and our hormones, sometimes we have to do things a little more strict and different to see results like that. So I think I've talked plenty. I really want to finish my coffee and watch a Hallmark movie. So I'm going to close talking about what 2023 will look like for Southern and healthy. So my first buds group will be winter buds and it will start on January 1st. So we're going to come in hot on with 2023, keeping promises to ourselves and get started with my buds program. If you're interested, please join the early bird list. It is active on my website. You'll save 20 bucks. If you join that early bird list, you can register them. It starts registration will open on December 19th. And so definitely get on that early bird list to save $20 and you will be so blessed. I have had the sweetest reviews of Buds. You can search the hashtag Buds Review, and all of my past Bud reviews will come up, or you can look on my website and see that information too. Lady after lady, client after client, just telling their Buds experience. I will say, just because you join Buds doesn't mean you're going to lose weight. You have to put in some effort. You have to participate. You have to read the modules, watch the training videos, participate in the live Q&A if you can. Watch my live in the kitchen. Access all the information that I'm going to be given. I offer a weekly menu. We also do one week where I do meal review. I am available to answer your questions twice a week, and I'm there for six weeks to help you be successful. The challenges are specific to help my clients create a sustainable way of living the THM life for them. That is what it is for. After that, we have Blooms. It is accountability, encouragement, and I go live twice a week in there too. We have a lot of fun challenges coming up for that. And one thing will be is a consistency challenge. I'll also be sharing during the live Q&A anti-inflammatory awareness and also talking about habits that I have in my life. And so I'm really, really excited about that. My one-on-one -on -one program, I'm actually um, enrolling for January right now. So if you're interested in doing one-on-one -on -one with me for January and February, those are two-month sessions at a time, please go to my page, my website. It's right there on the cover page. You can scroll down to one-on-one, -on -one, find out more information, fill out the form to apply to be a one-on-one -on -one client. We'll set up a meeting. If we're a good fit and you're ready to go, we'll get you set up for January. But I do have limited spots. So if that's something that you've been wanting to do, then please get in with that. And so guys, that's it. Thank you so much for listening. Y'all bless my heart every day. I really appreciate all the support that I get from all of my followers and clients. Last week's podcast from Rebecca touched so many. She will be back very soon. And you all, there were so many messages and comments and I sent them all to her and it blessed her so, so much. So thank you for always being so generous with your your love and support. It means the world. So I hope that y'all have a wonderful week and thanks so much for listening. Bye y'all.